Glasgow School of Art and Historic Scotland, their combination leads the world, not just in mapping these great bridges, uh, but also some of the, the world's most significant architectural monuments, the Sydney Opera House, the uh, Mount Rushmore in the United States, uh, the eastern tombs of the Qing Dynasty in, in China are all being mapped by Scottish technology. So it's highly appropriate we, we map one of our, our own wonderful scenes here in Scotland. We're using the latest laser scanners, which um, we sort of mount onto vehicles and cars and we can drive over the bridge in order to gather what we call a point cloud, which is a very dense um, set of points. Um, and we can actually put the um, laser scanner onto the boats as well and put those on the water. So all the point clouds come together and then we can generate very accurate three-dimensional models of the bridges. In fact, so accurate that uh, I think it's going to be very difficult to, be able to differentiate the real bridge from the computer model. These structures are hugely important to us and, and they're hugely important to Scotland. What we want to do is capture the bridges as they were when we, we scanned them. So we've got that phenomenal record and that's there in perpetuity. But it's then being able to use that as a conservation tool to, to monitor the condition of the bridge and see what's happening. But also then to use it as an interpretation tool for education, for tourism, to explain how these structures were built to uh, structural engineers, but also to primary school kids and, and explain these really, really exciting structures to them. To have something to commemorate the new bridge, the Queensferry Crossing and the three bridges, something that was accessible to the entire planet and something in particular that was a, an educational tool for the, the teachers of Scotland and the children of Scotland so that they could, uh, they could embrace Scotland's engineering heritage and our digital mapping future. It's a magnificent initiative uh, and something which will, will do the nation proud.